Carlos Perez also made the team as the backup catcher. Um, do you know what, how Manny Pena is progressing? He's got an injured left wrist. Is that right? Is, is he, uh, yeah. do they have any timetable? I mean, I know Kasi is kind of guarded with timetables and stuff, but, um, but do, do you have any idea what, how, in, in, in is Manny guaranteed the backup when he comes back, just given what he's making? Uh, I think he's making four and a half million this year, something like that. Right. Yeah. Um, so he he had surgery on the left wrist uh, last May, something like that. I think it was to uh, to address some um, uh, cartilage or ligament damage in there. Mm-hmm. So he had surgery in May. Uh, wiped out the rest of the season, and um, he w- when he came to camp, I was talking to him early in camp, um, and he didn't really start sort of ramp back up with baseball activities until pretty late in the off season. And uh, he said that he, he didn't actually really catch a bullpen session until, until he got to camp. Um, but it was, he was in a minor league game uh, getting at bats uh, and it was on a swing and miss where, you know, swung and miss and felt like a twinge in the wrist. And so I, apparently I guess he came in the next day and it was a little swollen. So he decided he uh, reset and talked to the doctor that had performed the operation doctor wanted him to come back to Atlanta where he had had it and couldn't just get it checked out. So at this point he's in a brace, he's got a brace on the wrist. Uh, it's, mm-hmm. So it's immobilized. And the last sort of timeline was it's going to be at least two weeks before he is able to use it again, or at least until he's able to kind of get into a, a potentially like a minor league rehab game, at least two weeks, probably I would say that's a, that's an optimistic timeline. What he he's playing catch like he we would see him late in spring training where he'd be standing next to somebody who would like catch the ball for him and toss him and then he would throw it back with his right arm. So interesting. Like, I'm surprised he even passed his physical if he was having like issues and all that kind of stuff before that swing. Even if he was having trouble catching and stuff, you know, like I don't know that he was necessarily having trouble catching. Yeah. I think uh, I, I yeah. when they made the trade, I remember uh, the A's saying that you know they had they had talked to Pena about what he'd been able to do so far. And like, he was, uh, they, they didn't sound concerned about. So this the, is like that news, that swing really just kind of just re. Uh, yeah. Because, he, got, because yeah. he was in camp for a few days before that happened and he was doing stuff like he was catching bullpens, um, just taking batting practice. Uh, he even played in a cactus league game. I think it was the first, like the first spring training game he got at least one at bat. And um, and then yeah, it was just a, a swing and miss where it felt something in it. And uh, oh, it was, so he had calf soreness. Calf soreness was the original thing that knocked him out. And then he uh-huh. was playing in a minor league game to kind of get himself back from the calf soreness. And that's when he swung and missed and had the wrist thing. So so yeah, it's been a little bit of everything with him. Uh, I would I would assume, like you said, because he's because he's a veteran, because he's got you know he, he is making some money this year that. They would like him, and because he has a track record of being yeah. a major league catcher, that they would like him to come back and be that veteran backup to uh, to Langliers. Um, but the timeline of that is a little iffy. Yeah. 